This is Seplos V16 upgraded BMS. It has new feature of the Bluetooth connection, and you can monitor your battery information through cell phone app. There are quality tests must be passed before its release. The first test is the temperaturizing test. To do the test, we need to do some preparation work. Attach the temperature sensors to the BMS firstly, and there are 11 parts listed that we will monitor later. After attaching the temperature sensors, adjust the BMS to the battery front plate. Sort out the sensor wires with insulation tape. Now wire the temperature sensors to the temperature monitor device. Turn on the charge discharge tester. Activate the battery pack. After connecting all the devices we need, set up parameters of the temperature monitor. Now the tester is simulating the battery charging discharging process. And the sensor device is monitoring the real-time temperature. After one charge discharge cycle, the dynamic temperatures come to their highest levels. Record the test results and check if they pass the test standard. The second test is performance test. The first of its kind is monomer over discharge protection test. Now the battery is discharging. The circuit protection will be triggered when any cell voltage is not more than 2.7 volts. The second performance test is monomer over voltage protection test. Set the charging current to 80 ampere. Now the battery is being charged. The circuit protection will be triggered when any cell voltage is not less than 3.65 volts. The third performance test is total voltage over discharge protection test. The battery is discharging now. The circuit protection will be triggered when total voltage is not more than 43.5 volts. The fourth performance test is total voltage over voltage protection test. The battery is being charged now. The circuit protection will be triggered when the circuit voltage is over 57.6 volts. The fifth performance test is discharge high temperature protection test. The battery is discharging now. The circuit protection will be triggered when the cell temperature is higher than 55 degrees centigrade. The sixth performance test is charging over current protection test. The battery is being charged now. The circuit protection will be triggered when the circuit current is higher than 90 ampere. The seventh performance test is discharging over current protection test. The circuit protection will be triggered when the circuit current is higher than 90 ampere. The last performance test is charging current limiting test. The battery is being charged now. The circuit protection will be triggered when the circuit current is higher than 90 ampere. And the circuit current will be constrained within 10 ampere. The third test is voltage temperature detection accuracy test. And we assess the BMS voltage detection accuracy first when there is no charging or discharging. Compare the voltage values we have from BMS with the value we get from the multimeter.
Now we assess the BMS voltage detection accuracy when there is charging or discharging. Compare the voltage values we have from BMS with the value we get from the multimeter. Now we will do the temperature detection accuracy test. Attach temperature sensors to four electrode positions. Compare the temperatures detected by the BMS with the temperature values we get from the temperature sensor device. The following test is communication with inverter. V16 BMS is designed to be compatible with both 485 protocol and the CAN protocol. We will start with the 485 protocol communication test. Now compare parameters from the BMS with inverter. Now we do the CAN protocol communication test. Compare the parameters from the BMS with inverter. The last test is DIP and Bluetooth connection test. There is no need for manual dip operation anymore. Now open the app in the phone and access. You can find the dip number for corresponding battery. Compare the parameters in BMS with app. 